Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This week I'm gonna take you along on my very first week on my Erasmus experience in Madrid. I will tell you a bit about what I know at this point in the process, how the classes kind of work here, what it's like to live in Madrid, and just in general what it's like to be on Erasmus. Okay, first of all I would like to talk a bit about everything that happened before me arriving here. Um, so around January I think I started picking courses at different universities that I wanted to go to and uh, eventually it was decided which university I could go to and then basically what you just do is kind of apply for Erasmus at your university and then you get the acceptance letter and then you just put in the classes that you want to do. And then over the summer break I started looking into apartments and rooms and yeah and then I moved here. I feel like Madrid is um, a great place to do Erasmus in because there are so many students that do Erasmus that you just get so much support. Um, I personally felt like the process so far has been very smooth for me. So yeah, I'm just very curious how this is all gonna go and I'm gonna take you with me. university about 20 minutes ago. Um, I got here a bit earlier today because I wanted to make sure that I find the rooms. Um, now it was obviously easy. And another thing I had figured out a few days ago is that at the library here you can reserve rooms. So I reserved a room for myself because I have tutoring, I like online tutoring, which is my job, right before my first class. So I'm gonna online tutor now and then go to my two classes. So the first one that I have is um, ethics in education and what ethical responsibilities teachers carry. And the second one will be cognitive and linguistic development. Another thing to be noted, um, we need to start um, researching things for our bachelor's thesis. So that's what I'm doing right now when I still have the brain capacity. Hello, it's now 6 p.m. Um, my first class didn't really happen because there is no teacher and nobody knows really who's actually teaching the class. So that was a great start. Um, but I did meet some other Dutch people actually um, who also study close to where I study in the Netherlands. Um, and then now my second class was only 45 minutes because she just went through the academic year with us and explained everything but there was no content. So it's actually been quite a chill first day which I didn't expect. Good morning everyone. I feel like what you're gonna see this week is not quite an accurate depiction of my Erasmus experience probably but since I don't have a lot to do right now I was able to sleep in until half past nine and now I'm gonna go to the gym. I did a little bit of um, work but yeah and then today I only have two classes for now. Um, due to my class problems and scheduling problems I'm just gonna go to the classes that I hope I'm gonna get granted into but technically I'm only enrolled into one of the two that I'm gonna go to today but we'll see I think that will figure itself out in the next week hello it's now almost three o'clock and I'm now at uni again and my first class is gonna be school organization um, which I'm quite curious how that's gonna go hello everyone it's now 6 30 and I just got home um, I just wanted to give a quick update so I had two classes right and um, the first one was very nice the teacher for my second class actually used to be an Erasmus student at my university in the Netherlands so he actually knows a lot of the teachers that I have in the Netherlands and it was quite funny because yeah we study in very small Meppel and no Nobody really knows my pole, if, at least if they're not Dutch. One thing I did, <laughs> I did realize, which I now just sounds stupid that I didn't realize that before, but when you pick your schedule, you can pick from four different courses, and they're just called like first course, second course, third course, and so on. And I just thought those were just different like groups of people that will have the same schedule, which I guess they are, but those courses actually means first year, second year, third year. So I'm realizing I'm taking a lot of first year classes, which explains why everyone around me is incredibly young, very shy, um, and doesn't really participate in class. I don't know what to think about that yet. I think for my workload, that might mean that it might be easier for me. 
And on the other hand, I would just really love being amongst people that want to participate in class and are more my age. So yeah, don't know what to do about that yet. But anyways, my classes will change a lot, I think, so maybe that situation will also change. And now I'm just gonna chill at home for a bit. And then tonight I'm gonna go to a meet and dance event um, that is organized by City Life Madrid, which is um, actually a great company that's it's kind of a bit like Erasmus. They're just an organization that takes care of internationals in Madrid and they host different social events. And so I'm gonna go there with some friends that I meet at uni from Erasmus and you just learn bachata or salsa. And then you just talk to people you get to know others and you dance. That's actually one thing that I love about my classes. All of them don't start before three. So I can do anything in the evening if I'd like to and just sleep in and it's great. Good morning. It is now Wednesday, another day. I feel like I only film here or at university. I need to change things up. Um, I totally forgot to film yesterday, but the evening was quite nice. There was actually quite a lot of people, like the it's a nightclub and um, it was definitely filled with Erasmus students. So that was really fun. So today is the first time where I have three classes in a row. Um, so I tried to sleep in as much as I could and um, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. I wanted to show you what a typical classroom at this university looks like. So you have a bunch of benches and then it's really strange, um, but the chairs are attached to the previous bench. Um, so I feel like if you lean back, your hair is always just in the person's face, um, but they have normal blackboards. And then usually here they roll down um, the screen um, and share the PowerPoints. So far, I have not seen like one of those big classrooms that you would know from university, except for in the library, there's one of those. And so far I haven't had class in there, which is slightly a bummer because I had hoped to get like the very typical big university, like 300 students in a room kind of situation, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. Um, yeah, so this is just a little update and the teacher has not shown up. Hello, I and now in the library, I have to be a bit more quiet. Um, I just spent the last hour here roughly reading the chapter from my book for my class and trying to figure out the situation with the teacher. Um, and now I have the class school organization. class. I joined music education today because this is option or plan B for me um, with my class um, overlap but I can tell that music education is not my thing at all. <laughs> I really did not like this class so I'm just having my fingers crossed that my plan A works and then I don't have to take this class. But it's weird and um, you get used to the Spanish schedule so quickly like I used to have class until four sometimes in the Netherlands and that would feel like super late and now I don't even start class until three or five sometimes but because I get up so late my entire day just shifts like it's it's almost 9 p.m. and I haven't had dinner um, but you just get used to that very quickly hello everyone it's now Thursday and um, I had my first health and nutrition class which I only take with my friend who came from the Netherlands um, here with me and it's so great that the teacher lets us do the class and it's very fun like we can both already notice that we're gonna love this class so it's gonna be great and um, we also got to decide our own schedule since um, it's only the three of us like the, us two students and then the teacher and now we're just gonna have lunch in the sun um, and my next class I think is at five o'clock today and right now it's like 1 30 so I have some time here on campus Good morning, it is now Friday. Uh, yesterday, just a little update about that, after you saw me studying in the library, I had a class called Cognitive and Linguistic Development and that was the first time I got content. 
um, in this class and it was very, <laughs> it was so, I don't know, it was quite a lot of information for the fact that it was like 5 p.m. on a Thursday. Today I have one class in the afternoon and until then I'm gonna just um, work on some of the other classes, like just type out my notes properly and um, yeah, do just a few small things. And also, good news, I finally got an email last night from my university in the Netherlands that all my new classes that I now have to kind of change into are being accepted. And also, I just saw in the system that there's finally a teacher that exists for one of my classes. So in fact, I actually only have to change one class. <laughs> to the gym <clears throat> and then after that I had Spanish lessons um, I take an hour a week with a private tutor that I um, kind of got in Argentina when I was living there this year and I see her online and yeah that went great now I'm gonna go to class I have natural sciences I'm very curious how it's gonna go because this is the first time I'm joining it hello it's now a few hours later I think I think it's almost eight o'clock and when I got to the class, I found out that it's in Spanish because the teacher that was meant to teach in English isn't here at the moment and he is going to return. The question is just of when. That just as a little update, I'm gonna make dinner now and then I'm gonna go to an Erasmus event today at a bar where you just meet people. And yeah, that's kind of the plan for tonight. Good morning, it is now Saturday morning or more like noon time um like i said i went out last night it was quite nice i went to a social event from esn so the erasmus student network and it was actually only i realized towards the end of the night only people that study is specifically at my university so it wasn't um everyone in madrid who's erasmus and we stayed there for a few hours and met a few people and then we went out with them and yeah that was kind of last night i thought i would also tag you along on my weekend since i think that's also nice to see what it's like to live in madrid today i have festival tickets with a friend um so later we're gonna go to a festival and i'm very happy that right now <clears throat> i guess i can enjoy this kind of lifestyle where i might not have to stress now that i don't do anything uni related or work related today because it's the beginning of the semester so i'm trying to just enjoy that um, as much as i can i know i'm not filming too much of what i'm actually doing and i'm just always telling you but um i just kind of forget um but it's now 5 pm and i've just grocery shopped meal prepped got ready for the festival and uh, the festival is by the way afterlife uh, maybe you know it it's um quite popular I think it's a techno festival and luckily the weather is so great today I mean it's been great anyways but um, I wouldn't have expected there to be bad weather but it's just anyways nice that we have nice weather for this festival markets and street markets it's really nice and it's just so warm and the sun is out so I'm very much enjoying just walking around also this is a very famous um, plaza in Madrid it's called Plaza Mayor and uh, of course it's very touristy um, reminds me a bit of Brussels Good morning, it is now Monday again and I just wanted to finish off this video. Well, I really hope this vlog was insightful for you, that it maybe helped you, that you thought it was interesting, I don't know. Um, whatever you want to take away from it, you do. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun filming it. And thank you for watching it. There might be some more vlogs coming about Erasmus, so yeah, if you see those popping up, then feel free to watch those as well. I hope this might help you to apply for our course or this might help you to decide where you want to go for Erasmus.